Like you're like, Villager just had no answer to that because mm. this is like, what did he do? Like all of his moves that he does not neutral, his Lloyd Rocket, his pellets, like those are all projectiles. And so like, literally Paladin just throws up a reflect and be like, haha, I have one neutral. What are you gonna do now? I feel like Villager is very good at anti-zoning. It's like if you are if you are a camper and you're fighting against Villager, <laughs> it, 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 it can suck a little bit. All right. Look at all these follows. Thanks for following the channel. Wait. Yeah. What is all this? Uh, all right, and I feel like they're they're just trying to do stage bans at this point because you know this is gonna be a matchup where like bans are gonna be so so important. Mm. That's true. Because when you're, I mean, because Pelotena easily is able to just kind of rush in. But she doesn't have to. I think that's what makes uh, Palutena such a good character. Like, she's fairly simple, and she's very flexible. With pretty much everything that she has, she has a decent recovery. Uh, her disadvantage state isn't the worst, but she doesn't have the best landing options. She really doesn't. Like, down there is kind of tiny. Um, Nair, I guess, to a degree. Um, I and mean, even then, there's not an excellent landing option. Yeah, it's not. It's really not. But like when you have a teleport, you can just teleport away to a platform. Like exactly. That, that's a landing option. Exactly. All right, here we go. And already, I like this map. Uh, this is just a, a, a pet map of mine. All right. Yet again, here we go, and just opening up with a Nair, but not quite going to be able to follow it up with anything else, unfortunately. I feel like this map is kind of fair for both both players here. Let me see. Like, I, I, I don't exactly know why I feel this way. I mean, Palutena gets the platforms to, like, teleport cancel to, and Villager gets FP for a couple of minutes, or a couple of seconds. Yeah. Some places to land. Ooh, wow, that was kind of a risky Nair, but he was able to make something work out of it. Okay, just getting away. And, and that's kind of nice, too, because you can't pocket the explosive flame, can you? No, you cannot. Yeah, you can't pocket that. And if you do pocket the the, the auto reticle... You only pocket one. You only pocket one. I call them pomegranates. You, oh. you, you pocket a pomegranate, you're not going to get a whole lot of reward for it. I mean, like, in half the matchups, like, Villager's Neutral is basically, like... Be reverse landing uh, if you're gonna do that. Oh, he almost got uh, stuffed out by that up smash too. Ooh, Ooh, I like he read the ups. jump. Yeah, he read the jump option, but unfortunately not gonna be quite center on uh, Palutena there. You want to be really careful when you're doing cross ups against people when you are pushing them to the to the corner because it could if you try to cross them up and you're behind them they can just run into the center and now they have advantage. Right. Oh, that death. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, that rage. That rage really pulling it out. Immediately entering. Okay, nice. That up tilt is a kill move. Yep. And it's a good anti air, too. Oh, yeah. Nice. But that fair is all. That fair is going to kill. Right oh. in the face. So rude. Yeah. Oh, the nair. That nair is a really good option. I think yeah. it's only like three frames, so yeah. it's a really quick out of shield option. Getting a long lasting hitbox, too. Yep. You can combo if it's depending on the percent. Yeah. You said it. Just oh. zoning this guy out. It's just like you can reflect it, but that's, that's like, like what are you gonna do? Like reflect like a single pellet? Yeah. And just, then that's what's he gonna do? He's just gonna run up and like grab you or do something else. Right. It's it's just like so little frame advantage for not really a whole lot of reward. Trying to get the cross up again, but getting uh getting grabbed. Right. Oh, air dodging the stage, nice. Not going low for the potential nair. Yeah. Jump Steady's really been putting uh, Ant into these uh, ledge trap situations more often than uh, Ant is doing it to him. As I say that, uh. Ooh, but I mean, that's a really good answer to if you're a villager just pocketing things and, or just throwing things out in neutral, that you, you can get uh, a of plane for that if you just be predictable with it. Yeah, it's very true. Yeah, you have to change up the frequency with uh, your attacks. <laughs> Trying to get a parry? Okay, hey, you're still able to get an air out of it. Very nice. And I remember Ant was telling me uh, a little earlier, he, he's really trying to utilize down smash as like a way to, uh, basically a lot of villagers don't use it, but it's a really good berry. I mean, it's a good berry, but like in terms of berry, like you have to do it off the roll, basically. Yeah, yeah. Uh, missing that, missing that tree. But now he's kind of telegraphing that he wants to go towards the tree and jump said he was so ready for it. Okay, very nice, very nice. 
Yeah, crossing again. under. Yeah. Yeah, again, you can see Jump Stay just sitting fine and happy, just like <laughs> <laughs> until he gets his bisected. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm like, I'm gonna set up a wall. And that that's a really hard commitment about explosive planes. Like if you go for the long version, like they can just run past it and do whatever the hell they want to you. And get that neutral back. Yeah. Nice snare. Wow, really good awareness. It's like, I gotta throw out my quickest thing right now. This guy's getting a little too close to me. Oh, okay. I'm telling you, that nair really comes in handy. It's probably one of his best moves. It's, yet again, you know, I feel like Jump Steady is kind of struggling to find his way in because you now Ant's not really giving him anything at this point. He was doing okay at the beginning. Yeah. Now we're getting that, uh, that comeback starting to look a little real. Right. You can tell Jump Steady's playing a lot more reserved. And and just not falling for these explosive flames as much. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's pretty telegraphed. It's it's kind of hard for Jump Steady to be able to constantly get it. That was such a good B reverse. He actually gets iframes on the pocket. Right. So even if he had gotten the hit, he might have been able to just kind of traverse through it. I mean, like, that B reverse, is just, it's just momentum. It helps you get better positioning. That too. Uh, oh, my god. I like the attempt there, but <gasps> no. Not quite. Oh, oh wow. He, he was so far low on the stage. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I was I was feeling an up smash. I don't know if you felt that, but I thought maybe we we're gonna get an up smash from Palutena and just end it. Okay. Oh, but here's a tree. I wonder if we're gonna see a tree off of Villager. Oh no. Maybe. Uh, yeah. That that dream is starting to look like a dream at this point. It's Ooh. just a dream. And again, you know, like this this is so close for both players at this point. You know, like. Palutena, like, oh, not really going to find any, like, strong, like, kill options because, like, Villager is not going to give her a grab. Jump Steady is uh, constantly throwing out these backers now to try to close it out, and I'm wondering if he's trying to condition Ant into thinking about it. Yeah, uh, taking that out. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. I mean, that dash attack is, like, one of those really awkward moves where, like, if you DI in, then you can eventually die off the top. And if yeah. you DI out, then you're going to die off the side. Yeah, yeah, it's really strong. It's just, it's nice that she has that shield property because right. she is able to sort of, like, circumvent like the the slingshots and whatnot even she's though able to armor, she's able to like push through it yeah she can just back air but i mean that's really hard right. but you can still do it it's still an option that is available to you in fact i'm, I'm starting to think that not just because of that match because that was really close but like villager isn't able to abuse things like pocket super well against her projectiles so she can kind of zone villager it's funny how I was saying that he's like an anti-zoning character. But then, yeah, Palutena is just like, I'm going to anti-zone your zoning. Yeah, because she, she doesn't have, like, the traditional projectiles. Right. And the one that she does have is fairly weak. Right. Individually. Are going to see a third switch? Okay, zero suit. Wow, I, I have not seen Jump Steady pull out the ZSS in a long while, so I'm wondering if he wants like a more aggro character. It'd be like, I I want to get in, I want to hit you, let me get in. That got a little too close for comfort. Yeah. But he had such a good lead, and then he just started to lose it slowly. Interesting. Okay, I like that. I like that. You can do that uh, if you're able to land with a certain hitbox on top of that explosive. It's not going to hurt you. Oh, boy. I'm trying I mean, to do it again. The other thing about, about playing a faster character is that... Now, when the Lloyd Rocket comes out, it doesn't have a hitbox until it actually starts moving. So yeah. if you're fast enough, you can just run in and get a quick dash attack for free. Yep. Sometimes you can even get a grab and then get the throw before it'll have just right. like that. And just like that. The, yeah, and then using the throw invincibility to avoid the Lloyd Rocket itself. Exactly. Exactly. Oh, hey, good pivot grab. Ever since you, you were... Uh, unable to run through people. The pivot grabs kind of died, the art of the pivot grab. Oh. Yet again, doing that uh, Zare in the uh, back air. Yeah. Using Ooh. the bear off stage to hit him off the Lloyd Rocket. And, yeah. you know, he's going to take that stock super early. Using that mobility to his advantage. Okay. And all these jumps, too, really do. And she has such a high jump that it's higher than villagers, so it's like it's kind of harder to use that slingshot and these nares into up smash. Look at all that damage he got. You know, you can see villagers struggling so much more in this matchup, you know? Yeah. I, I think Ant needs to do a bit better with avoiding all of the, uh, just making jump steady whiff is what he wants to do here. I think he's a bit too focused on his own game plan, and he's not really uh, focusing on what jump steady wants to do here. Right. He's not forcing uh, jump steady to miss any of his moves. Right. <laughs> He's challenging him uh, in a position where he's not really in the position to do it. Okay. Ooh, man, those turnips could have killed, even on Town and City. I mean, triple turnips, like, that high up, 
Oh, that was only one turn. Ah! Who gets a dash attack off stage, but no, not going to be able to uh, smack him out in the air. No up B. Oh, man. Instantly went into the shield. I, I thought I thought both uh, players were ready for a grab. And again, you know, CSS just has been living, and that's going to be it for Ant. Yep. Oh, my God. All, All that, that rage? Yeah. Whew. But you know what? We've seen Ant come back for some pretty bad sitches. So he could. He still could. I mean, it's definitely doable. Mm -hmm. It's not going to be easy, but it's doable. Oh, yeah. Definitely not easy. That's a death. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> when your back throw kills off the top. All right, this is where uh, Jump Steady is going to start pressuring a whole lot because Ant, he doesn't want Ant to even start thinking about camping him out. Right. That's what happened last time. <laughs> it was bad for him. I mean, at this point, like, Ant's just going to have to find a way to get in. And, like, he can you know, nickel and dime him all he wants, but it doesn't matter unless he's dead. Yeah. Hey, I'll take some nickels and dimes, though. Hey. Uh, he's looking kind of poor right now. I mean, nickels, can't be choosers. I mean, nickels and dimes are, are fine, but like when you're in like a debt, like you know, nickels and dimes are not enough. Yeah, man, break that piggy bank. All right, good. That was so good. That's what I'm talking about. He was making jump steady whip. Oh, it's futile. <laughs> yeah, dude. <laughs> he did his best there. Oh, oh no. that. that was so close to like spiking off stage. Yeah, that could have been really disgusting. That was good, okay. Making him whiff. He didn't get a punish, however. Oh my god, that's just unfortunate too, because that could have been an up smash or something. Nice! It's a stage spike. That's death. That's, yeah. Oh my god, okay. I mean, 108%, you know, it, it's it's hard, but like, you know what? Like, ZSS, if she doesn't get the, the paralyzer or the down B spike, you know, like, it could be doable. Sometimes it's hard for her to kill when she doesn't get those, uh, those guaranteed setups that right. she's so fond of. Nice. Yes. Avoiding the tree. Yo, and he got the up air. He got full damage off of that. Yeah. And now we're just seeing the lead slowly crumble away. Is Ant going to make this comeback? It's this? it's so possible. Oh, my God. It's so possible. But these Lloyds, man, they're kind of slowing him down a little bit. I wonder I wonder if that's the play. Oh, another oh. Nair, dude, stopping him. Oh, my God. And the bowling ball just barely avoiding the, the down B's grounding. Dude, he wants it. Oh, and Jump said he was so he was so like acclimated to these uh, these cross up uh, nares as well. Right. And at this point, though, no, Axe is on deck, so he has to worry about that move too. Yep, not anymore. Yep. Oh, dude. Okay, it's time to play the range game for Ant. Okay. Yeah, it, it, Ant has not gotten hit in a long while, and he he's got to keep it that way. He's confidently throwing out these Lloyds too, like no problem. He's threatening a grab. Oh. No, dude, 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 dude. Oh. yo. Uh, I will always give props to Ant, though. Ant that. was making such a strong comeback. You know yeah, what? That, that tech was, like, so good.